Those pictures were taken by Antarctica New Zealand's winter science technician, Stuart Shaw, who's on base at the moment and keeps experiments ticking over during winter. He joins us from Scott Base now for more. Stuart, kia ora, thanks for joining us. I understand you've spent a few winters on the ice down there. Have you ever seen a display quite like this? Um, yes and no. During sort of spring and autumn, we will see orangey sort of colours in the sky. But uh, at this time of year, when it's really in the depths of winter, we just normally have black sky, you know, complete darkness 24-7. So to have something this rare and this colourful uh, in the middle of the day, yeah, it's quite spectacular to see. We know you only get a short window of daylight there. So how long did this view last? Uh, not very long at all, probably about an hour, which just gave me enough time to sort of nip out in one of our vehicles and chase some of those shots that you've seen. Um, we lost the sun, I think, around April 26th, and we don't expect it back until around August the 20th. So you can imagine we're right in the depths of uh, not seeing much sunlight at all at the moment. So, yeah, again, this is quite rare to see this uh, amount of brightness in the sky. So how did you spot it? Uh, it wasn't actually me. I must admit there was a bit of a kerfuffle around stations, some uh, people murmuring on the radio to go outside. So uh, with that, I just grabbed the camera and uh, ran outside and saw what everybody else was looking at. So, uh, yeah, just jumped in a vehicle and uh, headed off to the various sort of viewpoints you can see where I've taken those shots there. Now, many will be fascinated by the fact that you only get the small window of daylight. I struggle to get out of bed when daylight savings end. So how do you motivate yourself to get up and work mostly in the dark each day? Uh, I'm not sure I do, actually. Um, no, I expect, well, my job as a science technician means I have to uh, do weather observations. So my first weather observation each day is at 9 a.m. So I have to be up for that one, otherwise I'll get in trouble. And when daylight does return, is there some kind of big celebration? Oh, definitely, for sure. We uh, we do sort of mark a few parties with that. Um, with this year, uh, might sound a little strange, but we're actually having a moth party, which is where everybody dresses up as a moth and dances around a lamp. Uh, I'm probably not sure I should say that on TV, but that's what we're doing. What is your role down there? What type of work do you do each day? So as a role of science tech, I basically look after uh, the work that is required for actual scientists. So I look after all the experiments that are given to me to uh, attend to by the likes of NIWA, uh, various universities around New Zealand. Uh, so I just maintain them, keep the lights ticking, uh, keep the lights on, keep the experiments ticking, and basically make sure that um, nothing goes wrong and that all the observations are carried out correctly. Would you recommend it? Um, ask me when I got home. Yeah, no, I would. Of course I would. Yeah. It's great. Great people, good place and good fun. Stuart, thank you so much for your time tonight. No problem. Thank you.